The Chernobyl disaster occurred on the 26th of April 1986. During this event, a nuclear reactor exploded and released radioactive materials into the atmosphere. Once investigations were underway, it was announced that reactor number 4 had exploded. However, many details were suppressed about what had happened, and many were told to go in and clean it up not knowing the seriousness of the situation. We now know the event emitted over 400 times more radiation than that released by the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Immediately after the event, people were evacuated from the area. It's thought the number is somewhere around 340,000 to 360,000 people. Even to this day, there are restrictions on where you can visit, with most of the areas around Chernobyl being out of bounds. With that being said, tours can be arranged if you want to see some of the nearby areas. Scientists have said though it will be thousands of years before humans will be able to live here comfortably again. It's not actually known how many people died as a direct result of the disaster, but researchers have said the death toll is around six figures. A physicist at the University of Portsmouth said that by 2065, the Chernobyl event would have caused around 16,000 cases of thyroid cancer and 25,000 cases of other cancers. However, other researchers have said the amount is higher than this, but most agree that there is a large amount of uncertainty around these numbers. Within the exclusion zone of Chernobyl is the Red Forest. What's eerie is that it gets this name because of the reddish brownish colour of the pine trees after they died following the absorption of high levels of radiation. Due to the high levels of radiation, this had a direct effect on the plant life and animals. Most of the animals passed away due to the initial blast. Researchers at the time said that no wildlife would be able to survive here, and that the area would be an empty land for centuries to come. However, over 30 years after the event, the wildlife around Chernobyl is very much alive and well. In this area, wolves, horses, bears and bison can be found. Not only that, but over 195 species of birds now call this place home. Interestingly, some researchers have said that because humans no longer disturb the wildlife here, it's actually helped it to thrive. A research paper has shown that these animals might actually be adapting to the radiation. One example was that frogs within the Chernobyl exclusion zone are darker than the same frogs that live outside the zone. The main issue is that over 90% of the radioactivity of the red forest is found in the soil, and researchers are worried as forest fires could release radioactive materials into the atmosphere. However, some of the data has shown that some of these animals have been affected by the radiation. For example, some of the insects that can be found in the inclusion zone have shorter lifespans, and have shown to have higher genetic differences than before. With that being said, scientists and researchers are overall happy of how the wildlife is doing in this area. Although the events of Chernobyl were very bad, it's allowed scientists to carry out some tests. Some have even called it a natural laboratory as it's allowed us to study organisms in extreme environments. At this moment in time, tourism is on the rise in Chernobyl, and you can even stay the night in one of the abandoned hotels of the area. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.